those CEO jobs, those are the jobs that could be automated. That, that's right, get them out of there. Yeah, get them out of there. <laughs> they, and, and they don't realize whether you corporate management and all of that, if it wasn't for the people you see walking in this parade, they wouldn't have a check either, would they? This year, Labor Day is falling on the eve of what could be one of the biggest labor showdowns in recent memory. In just 10 days, the contracts between the big three U.S. auto companies, GM, Stellantis, and Ford, and over 150,000 UAW members will expire. If the big three auto companies don't come to the table and reach a fair agreement, Auto workers will strike and effectively bring the entire auto industry to a grinding halt. We're here at the Labor Day Parade in Detroit, the potential epicenter of this battle, and the home of the big three automakers to talk to workers about their fight. Ready for war! Ready for, Ready war. for war, baby! Whatever it takes. We're 1,700. Yeah. A committee person. I'm a committee person. Okay. We got some stewards in the back. And um, we're ready. These, these CEOs and these corporations and companies are making billions and trillions off of our backs. And, and, and the workers who are there every single day putting their foot forward for the company need to be recognized for that. We are just like the nurses, the doctors, the lawyers, UPS, Starbucks, and everybody. We all need some money because we all take care of everybody. Among the United Auto Workers' core demands include the end of the two-tier wage system, a pay increase that matches or exceeds the 40% pay increase the big three CEOs have gotten in the last four years, cost of living adjustments, defined pensions, and stronger protections around plant closures. The big three have called these demands unrealistic, but are they? In the last 10 years, the big three auto giants have made a quarter of a trillion dollars in profit. In addition to the CEO raises, shareholder payouts have also increased. At Ford alone, investors have seen a 150% increase in dividend payments. Any honest look at the numbers shows that the big three are happy to share their profits with anyone who's already rich, but not the workers who generated them. And these CEOs are now coming back and saying, oh, well... The UAW's got to be realistic. Mm -hmm. The workers have to be realistic. What's your response to that? Well, define what realistic is. Is it realistic to make over a quarter of a trillion dollars? We've had quite a few, you know, people's fingers getting smashed, backs, uh, trucks, hitting people on the head. It, it's all kind of injuries that you can get building these trucks. Whether it's Ford, GM, doesn't matter. We're in there every day putting our bodies into the mere trucks that everybody is driving every day in cars. In 2008, 2009, when uh, the big three were in, in dire straits, they came to us and we opened our contract back up and gave them a lot of things that we're trying to get back now to help them stay afloat for the, you know, live to fight another day type of scenario, right? So we did that and now we're asking for those things back, right? You know, over a decade later. The situation UAW workers are in isn't unique. Tens of millions of workers around the country are seeing their pay and rights get eroded while CEOs and investors make more money than ever before. Union auto jobs used to be the gold standard, allowing workers to buy a house, raise a family, and live a relatively comfortable life. But attacks on unions and corporate outsourcing have turned the job into a shell of its former self. In that sense, UAW's fight to prevent good, stable union jobs from being turned into second-tier, low-wage jobs is the fight of the entire working class. Brothers and sisters, welcome the UAW president, Sean Bain! 75% of Americans said they support the UAW members in our agenda. because we're fed up, just like all the working class is fed up, with watching these companies taking billions in profits. We've watched the CEOs raking millions in salaries. We've watched shareholders raking billions in dividends. And we've watched workers' wages, benefits go backwards. I can guarantee you one thing. Come September 14th, we're gonna take action to get it by any means necessary.